tonight is an Academy Award nominated actress you know from an officer and a gentleman and terms of endearment. Please welcome Deborah Winger. I'm so glad to have you on the show, and, and I'm so glad to see you out in the movies again. Because I know you haven't really gone away, but for for years you were you were like a darling of the film industry. For the younger people out there who might not necessarily know your biggest hits, uh, Officer and a Gentleman, Terms of Endearment, Shadowlands, <laughs> and Urban <laughs> Cowboy. Right there. Good boy. <laughs> I got visual aids, baby. I got visual aids. Uh, okay. Well, you know, I'm yeah. stoked to be following Charles Barkley because now nothing I say will be a problem. <clears throat> I mean, we'll just, find out. you know, I, my, my kids were watching. I thought, oh, they're going to like him more than me, but then he just dissed their whole generation. So. That's true. How, how old are your kids? Well, I have one in college. Okay, good. And then uh, the other two are, you know, 10 years older. Okay. Yeah, it was a little... There was a pause. Oh, I do that in my life, a evidently. Pause to it's refresh. Uh, yeah. But you, so, so you're like an industry darling for ten years, and you sort of walked away from big Hollywood. Why? Why did you do that? Yeah, I, you know, I know that it's a thing, and I'm trying to figure out an answer to it. But yeah. I didn't feel like I was walking away. I just was following my life, and it wasn't there in Hollywood. Where did it end up being? <laughs> it was, uh, you know, I have a family. I have three pretty good dudes that, okay. you know, I hung out with for a while. I have a farm. I taught a little bit. I wrote a book. I did some stuff. You I moved did. out to the farm? Yeah. Well, we lived on, we live on a farm, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's an old dairy farm. Is John Stewart out there? Because he's always <laughs> somewhere out in a farm out there well, someplace. I, I, yeah, I work on the ranch. I live on the farm, so that's it. <laughs> now, uh, I understand that you uh, grew up in a Jewish house, but you're kind of obsessed with Catholic saints. I, I'm I was a Catholic, very obsessed with Catholic saints. I, I love that we have saints, you know. They're Pretty like... Pretty grisly, man. Well, the, oh, some of them are. Whoa, some of them no, are bad all of stuff. Them, all of them. <laughs> None of them alive. died in their sleep, okay? A happy death. Okay, do you have any favorite grisly well, saints? What about your patron saint? What did Saint he... Stephen. He yeah. was the first martyr. He was in Antioch. Stoned. He was stoned to death, exactly. Stoned because he dissed the Jews. He did? Yeah, that's what he did. And that's, but I'm saint not sure Sebastian, if I want to be named for What about now. the women? The, <laughs> I'm just saying, check yeah. it out. But the women saints, they're the most. They get really creative. Okay. Because we know monotheistic religion's pretty sexist. A little bit. Well, God's got a beard. Yeah. <laughs> You had a, you, one of the things, you had a little bit of a reputation of uh, going head to head with your co-stars and, and, and kind of mixing wow, up with them. this is just going so bad for no, me. No, it's going great. <laughs> so, but, but you recently, like, uh, uh, Shirley MacLaine, you just uh, uh, Instagrammed this right here. It's you and Shirley MacLaine, <laughs> lovely photograph, with the hashtag, bury the hatchet. <laughs> what is, yeah, it's in my back. Which <laughs> one of those is holding, yeah, well, she's holding the hatchet. How did this come about, and why did you want to well, do it? Well, first of all, it's the only social media I do, which is Instagram, because my um, youngest son, Babe, convinced me that it was the friendliest. Instagram? So, right. yeah. So yeah. I came up with that hashtag when I ran into her at a restaurant, which is where that picture was taken, when somebody else was supposed to meet us for lunch, and we were waiting. This girlfriend and I were waiting for her sister to arrive, and the hostess, who was probably 30 years old, just... Somewhere, the synapse in her brain said, oh, Shirley MacLaine is going to Deborah Winger's table. So imagine both of our surprise when she's being... Su surprises? I don't both know. of our surprise. Yes? Oh, when I wish what? Tracy Letts was sitting right here <laughs> so I could ask him the proper English. Anyway, they walked her over to the table and were like, oh, my... But so she wasn't supposed to have lunch no, with you? No, she said, that's not my editor. <laughs> so a, a waitress just dragged Shirley MacLaine over to you? Yeah. Wow. It was, and I was like, Cheryl, and can we take a picture? Hi, how are you? Wow. She said, well, I just may as well sit here. So, so you had said, lunch together? We had lunch together. What a, <laughs> what, what a lovely story. <laughs> I don't know. Now, uh, we've got to go in a minute, but I want to hear about the movie The Lovers. In the movie The Lovers, you and Tracy Letts, who's your husband, yes. right? Wait, no, who, not in life. No, 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 but in, yeah. the, in the movie, he's yeah. your husband, and he's a brilliant writer and a brilliant actor, um, and you guys are having affairs on each other, correct? Well, I probably wouldn't have given that spoiler, but thanks. I can cut it out. <laughs> no, no, no. Deborah Winger, <laughs> what's the movie about? 
good one. Yes, yes. No, no, I just think it's, we, we talk about marriage. You've been married, I think, for a similar amount of time as I have. How about long have 25 you been years. Yeah, in that ballpark. Yeah, yeah, and I have three kids. And so. Yeah, I, I have three kids too. It's like yeah. looking in a mirror. Yeah, right. I feel that way too. Yes? No, I just, it's a story that Azazel Jacobs wrote. Um, and, it, and I guess for me, it was about how we live in such an impermanent world, right? Everything we've been talking about is is based on the fact that it's gonna change and you better be able to, yeah. you know, white knuckle it somehow. Sure. But then we set up this institution of marriage and it's supposed to not change. We're supposed to stay in love and have the same enthusiasm and wake up every morning and be crazy about each other. And sometimes it doesn't work that way. So no, yeah, you find not. other ways to feel good and then maybe you don't feel so good about that. But it's a comedy and... Um... <laughs> Sorry! Uh, and it's funny. called The Lovers. <laughs> so I'm guessing I there's some sex. Is there sex in it? Off. Is there sex in it? There's so much sex. You just sold some tickets right now, Deborah. No, I mean, Wainer. there really is a lot of All sex. All right. So there's plenty of sex in the movie. But there's naked sex. It's not. There's naked sex? Yes. That's my favorite kind. I'm happy to hear that. You have pants that on. Guy I have pants on tonight. <laughs> The Lovers opens tomorrow. Deborah Winger, everybody. We'll be right back with comedian Sarah Tolomas.